Hey everyone, happy MCAT season. My name is Armin. And in this video, I wanna talk about the five tips that allowed me to get a 132, which is the 100 percentile on the psychology and sociology section of the MCAT. So before we dive into the tips, I just wanna give a quick note about the psychology and sociology section of the MCAT. So this is a section that a lot of people start practicing. They get a 128 in a practice test and they think they're okay. They don't uh, study it furthermore. Uh, I just wanna say, don't do that. You can easily maximize your overall score on the MCAT by putting some time into this section. Uh, getting a 131, 132 is really achievable with anyone with any scientific background. So definitely make sure you put the time in for this section. All right, so tip number one is about when you should start studying for psychology and sociology. So this section has quite a lot of memorizing. For us science students, we really don't know that much psychology and sociology. So these topics are brand new to us. I would strongly recommend you start your MCAT journey by opening your psychology and sociology book. Uh, and the reason you have to start with this uh, part of the MCAT is simply because of the volume of the things you have to memorize. I started with psychology and sociology and I studied for the MCAT for roughly four months. So I was able to go over these topics over and over and over again and repeat my flashcards a bunch of times, which allowed me to memorize everything I needed to get a 132. So tip number two, you can already see tip number two behind me. And that's the 300 page document from MedBros that you can just download from Reddit. So this 300 page document has pretty much everything you need to secure a really solid mark for the psychology and sociology section of the MCAT. The notes are based on the Khan Academy videos that you can access on Khan Academy's website and YouTube. They might move to the AMC's website later on because there were some rumors about that. But for now you have access to them, so use them. And that's how I learned all these topics. They were all brand new to me. I just watched the videos on Khan Academy and I followed along with the videos with the 300 page doc notes. All right, tip number three. Man, this is a big one. Do a lot of Anki flashcards. Um, so these flashcards, they really helped me. Uh, again, I didn't know anything about the psychology and sociology section of the MCAT I, and I went from zero to 132 in a few months just by mostly doing these flashcards. There are a bunch of decks you can download from Reddit. Um, Premed95 was a deck that I used for psychology and sociology. And really learn how to utilize Anki for your studying for the MCAT, it really helps. And I highly recommend you start making your flashcards once you're comfortable with Anki. That also really helped me to really make sure that I'm covering all the topics and the small details that I might not be comfortable with. Do Anki flashcards, do them every day, don't miss a day. All right, tip number four. So the psychology and sociology section of the MCAT is the very last section. You've already gone through the pain of writing chemistry and physics, cars. Oh my God, I hate cars. <laughs> biology right so you're done with all these three sections now you have to write the psychology and sociology section by this time you're gonna be so tired so you really want to prepare your mind for writing a whole psychology and sociology exam after writing three independent exams uh, so the way I trained my stamina was by just doing psychology and sociology at the end of the day every day so I would go through every other uh, topic that I had to study for the day during my studying. And at the end of the day, roughly around 8 p.m. ish, I would do 59 questions from UWord in psychology and sociology, just so uh, to train myself to really answer and tackle these questions when I'm actually really, really tired and when I really don't want to do it. So I strongly recommend you guys do that. A lot of people underestimate the mental stamina you need for the MCAT make sure you practice for that and get ready for it. All right, that's the end of the video. So I'm gonna be uploading quite a lot of videos about the MCAT in the upcoming weeks. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss on that. And also if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care.